For me, Starfield is the Han Solo simulator. Get in a ship, explore the galaxy, do fun stuff. This is a quote from Ashley Chang, the managing director at Bethesda. In this video, we will discuss what this could possibly mean for Starfield with what we now know about the game. That Han Solo quote really caught my attention and made me question what kind of game we're gonna be experiencing with Starfield. Playing as Han Solo is probably something a lot of people want to do. I mean, he's a smuggler who lives life to the fullest. He goes to the ends of the galaxy doing crazy jobs while making tons of enemies, all while having a charm about him and getting the girls. I would believe that in Starfield, we will have a lot of control of our character and be able to travel to a ton of different planets that inhabit many different factions and races. We do know alien races will be in the game and there will be aliens in Starfield, not just alien critters or creatures as seen in the concept art, but actual alien races, which Howard unfortunately did not provide more detail on. But it sounds like it won't just be other humans you'll be meeting and interacting with as you explore the galaxy in Starfield. Personally, I always assume Starfield would have aliens, but it's nice to know it's confirmed. And I really hope we get some art on them in the coming months. It would be cool to get an idea of what Bethesda has plans for their aliens. Besides doing fun stuff, there will be a main storyline in the game, obviously. We don't know much about it, but we did get some info from Todd Howard. In Starfield, players will join an organization dubbed Constellation, the last group of space explorers. At the outset, players will choose their character's background, with many options for customization that will impact how some things in the game unfold. This brings more questions than answers. Why are we joining the last group of space explorers? Is Earth completely done space exploring? Did all the others die during the explorations? And is Earth giving up and just taking what they have? And this theory might have some weight. Howard also mentions that space travel in Starfield is actually dangerous. Traveling in space in our game? I want to say it's like flight in the 40s, like it's dangerous, said Howard. It's still dangerous to go and explore, even though lots of people do it. So maybe after so many deaths, Earth pulled the plug on the program. But we know that our character has found something that changes the game. During the trailer, we hear, What you found, it's the key to unlocking everything. Again, more questions. What did we find? Information? Technology? Whatever it is, I believe it will allow Earth to travel further than they have ever been to and really find answers to the question, what's out there? Getting back to the original quote, at the outset, players will choose their character's background with many options for customization that will impact how some things in the game unfold. So your choices right from the beginning will affect some things in the game. I do like how they mention only some things. When devs say choices impact the story, you always assume it's some huge thing, but it always turns out that it's never really anything or just something minor. Going in with this knowledge that it might be limited is good to know. I can't begin to fathom what things might change in the game, but if it's based on background, maybe being a Han Solo type character is going to be a bad thing. With certain people or factions, maybe not trusting you or liking you. But that is part of the fun, right? On the topic of character creation, apparently Starfield is more hardcore RPG than previous games. The quote doesn't really reveal much, but here it is. It's also a bit more hardcore of a role playing game than we've done. Howard said to the Telegraph. It's got some really great character systems. Choosing your background, things like that. We're going back to some things that we used to do in games long ago that we have felt really let players express the characters they want to be. Knowing that there are aliens in different factions within the game, the player's background should affect how these people talk or handle our character in the game. Starfield is everything I think I've wanted in a game for a long time. Being a sci-fi lover, Starfield might give players the freedom to explore the galaxy like we've never been able to before. Howard did say Starfield is Skyrim in space, so I wouldn't rule out the possibility of having the ability to be whoever we want, like Han Solo, and visit the deepest parts of space. For me, Starfield will hopefully entertain my brain about questions I've always had. What can humans accomplish in the future? And does space give us the answers we're looking for? All while being Han Solo, of course.